When it comes to buying clothes, the excitement of finding new pieces for your wardrobe can sometimes lead to hasty decisions or overlooked details. While shopping may seem straightforward, there are several common mistakes that people often make, which can result in wasted money, clothes that go unworn, or a less-than-perfect fit. Whether you're buying for style, comfort, or practicality, being aware of these pitfalls can help you make smarter choices and build a wardrobe that truly works for you. In this video, we'll explore some of the most frequent mistakes people make when buying clothes and how to avoid them. So, let's get started. 10 Common Mistakes to Avoid When Buying Clothes Welcome to a La Mode where life meets style. If you're looking for a place to unwind, learn, and grow, Hit that subscribe button and join our incredible community. 1. Ignoring fit and size. One of the most common mistakes people make when buying clothes is ignoring the importance of fit and size. Fit directly influences how an outfit looks and feels on your body. Clothing that is too tight may feel restrictive and uncomfortable, while oversized items can look sloppy and unflattering. The right fit enhances your body shape, making you feel more confident and polished. No matter how stylish the design or luxurious the fabric, if a piece doesn't fit well, it won't look its best. Sizes can vary significantly between brands and even between different styles within the same brand. Sticking rigidly to a size number without considering the actual measurements or trying the item on can lead to disappointment. Whenever possible, try on clothing before purchasing. Pay attention to how it fits your shoulders, waist, hips, and length. Clothes should feel comfortable and allow movement. For online shopping, take the time to measure yourself accurately and compare those measurements to the store size chart. Sometimes, even if an item doesn't fit perfectly off the rack, it can be tailored to suit your body. Minor alterations, like adjusting hems or taking in the waist, can make a huge difference in how a piece fits and looks. Recognize that different clothing styles are meant to fit differently. Make sure you're selecting items that align with the look you're aiming for. By prioritizing fit and size when shopping, you can ensure that your clothes not only look good but also feel great, reducing the chances of buyer's remorse and helping you build a wardrobe that truly works for you. 2. Overlooking Comfort for Style Overlooking comfort for style is another common mistake people make when buying clothes. Comfort is crucial because it affects not only how you feel physically but also your confidence and mood throughout the day. Clothes that are too tight, made from uncomfortable fabrics, or have awkward cuts may look good for a brief moment but can quickly become a burden. Shoes that pinch itchy fabrics or overly complicated designs can distract you from enjoying your day, making you feel uncomfortable and self-conscious. Chasing the latest fashion trends or buying statement pieces that aren't practical can lead to buyer's remorse. While these items may look great in the store or online, they may not be suitable for your daily routine or lifestyle. A flashy dress or bold pair of heels might look good for a night out, but be completely impractical for day-to-day -day wear. When trying on clothes, ask yourself if you can wear them comfortably for several hours. Walk around, sit, and move in them to see if they pinch, chafe, or restrict movement. If an item feels uncomfortable even for a few minutes, it's unlikely to feel better over time. Pay attention to the material of the clothes. Soft, breathable fabrics like cotton, linen, or jersey are often more comfortable for everyday wear. Avoid fabrics that are scratchy, stiff, or overly synthetic, especially if you have sensitive skin. By prioritizing comfort without abandoning style, you can build a wardrobe that you enjoy wearing regularly. After all, when you feel good in your clothes, you naturally look better, too. 3. Impulse Buying Impulse buying is a common mistake many people make when shopping for clothes, often leading to regret and a cluttered wardrobe full of unworn or unsuitable items. 
Impulse buying is often driven by emotional triggers rather than practical needs. Sales, discounts, and the fear of missing out can push shoppers to make spontaneous decisions without considering whether the item truly fits their style or lifestyle. The instant gratification of buying something new can be tempting, but it doesn't always lead to long-term satisfaction. Impulse purchases can clutter your wardrobe with clothes that don't match your existing outfits, don't fit well, or simply aren't practical for your everyday life. This can lead to frustration when getting dressed, as you may feel you have nothing to wear despite a full closet. Additionally, repeatedly giving in to impulse buying can strain your budget, resulting in overspending on clothes that aren't necessary. When you find something you want to buy, take a moment to ask yourself if it's something you genuinely need or will wear regularly. Waiting a day or two before making a purchase can help you make a more thoughtful decision. Create a list of clothing items you actually need. Establish a clothing budget to help manage your spending. Stick to your budget and prioritize purchases that add value to your wardrobe. Shopping as a form of stress relief or excitement can lead to impulse buying. Instead, try other activities to manage emotions, such as exercise or a hobby, before resorting to retail therapy. By taking the time to evaluate your purchases and shop more intentionally, you can avoid the pitfalls of impulse buying. This leads to a more cohesive, functional wardrobe that you actually enjoy wearing, rather than one filled with items you regret buying. 4. Not considering your existing wardrobe One of the biggest mistakes people make when shopping for clothes is not considering their existing wardrobe. It's easy to get excited by a new piece of clothing without thinking about how it fits into the overall collection of items you already own. This oversight can lead to a wardrobe full of mismatched items, leaving you with plenty of clothes but few cohesive outfits. A well-curated wardrobe is one where each piece works in harmony with others, allowing for versatility and ease in putting together outfits. When you don't think about your current clothing while shopping, you may end up buying items that don't match your existing style, color scheme, or the occasions you usually dress for. This results in clothes that are rarely worn because they simply don't complement anything else you own. Before shopping, review what you already own. Make note of gaps in your wardrobe, such as a lack of versatile tops or neutral basics. Think about whether the new piece is suitable for your lifestyle. Does it fit with your daily activities, or is it something that's too formal or too casual compared to the clothes you typically wear? Make sure it aligns with your needs. Focus on purchasing versatile clothing that can be dressed up or down and paired with different items. Basics like neutral colored tops, classic jeans, or jackets that can be layered help expand your outfit possibilities. By considering your existing wardrobe when shopping, you can build a more functional and versatile collection of clothing. This ensures that each new item you buy will work well with what you already own, helping you create stylish outfits without unnecessary clutter. 5. Ignoring fabric quality Ignoring fabric quality is a common mistake people make when buying clothes, often resulting in disappointment when the garment doesn't hold up as expected. The allure of a stylish design or a low price can sometimes cause shoppers to overlook the importance of the material, but fabric quality plays a crucial role in the durability, comfort, and overall appearance of your clothes. The quality of the fabric determines how long the garment will last, how comfortable it will feel, and how well it will maintain its shape and color over time. High-quality fabrics are more resistant to wear and tear, making them a better investment. On the other hand, poor quality fabrics tend to deteriorate quickly, fade, stretch out, or shrink after just a few washes, leading to clothes that look worn out far too soon. This often results in clothes that need to be replaced more frequently, costing you more in the long run. Always check the fabric tag before purchasing an item. Natural fabrics like cotton, wool, silk, and linen are usually more durable and comfortable though they can come at a higher price. 
Blended fabrics can offer the best of both worlds, but should still be examined for quality. By paying attention to fabric quality when shopping for clothes, you can ensure that the pieces you buy will last longer, feel more comfortable, and remain stylish after multiple wears and washes. In the long run, prioritizing fabric quality over quantity or trends will help you build a wardrobe that is both functional and durable. 6. Not considering versatility. Not considering versatility when buying clothes is a mistake that can leave you with a wardrobe full of single-purpose items that you rarely wear. While it's tempting to buy pieces that stand out or fit a specific occasion, these items can quickly become impractical if they don't integrate well into your everyday wardrobe. Versatility in clothing is key to maximizing your wardrobe's potential, ensuring you get the most out of each piece by wearing it in various settings and styles. Versatile clothing allows you to create multiple outfits from fewer items, making it easier to dress for different occasions without needing to constantly buy new clothes. A versatile wardrobe is built around items that can be dressed up or down, layered for different seasons, and paired with a variety of other pieces. This approach not only helps you save money, but also makes getting dressed each day more effortless and fun. Investing in items that are too trendy, overly formal, or too casual can result in spending money on clothes that are only worn a handful of times. When shopping, ask yourself if the item can be worn for different types of events. Can a transition from work to a casual outing or be dressed up for a night out? For example, a simple black dress can be worn with heels for a formal event or dressed down with flats and a jacket for casual outings. Layering pieces like cardigans, blazers, and scarves can extend the use of your wardrobe across different seasons and occasions. A versatile wardrobe isn't just about individual items, it's also about how pieces work together in different combinations. Having a consistent color scheme in your wardrobe makes it easier to mix and match items. Neutral tones like black, white, navy, beige, and gray are highly versatile and pair well with brighter or patterned pieces. Before making a purchase, consider how often you'll realistically wear the item. If it's something you'll only wear once or twice a year, it may not be worth the investment. Prioritize items that can be styled in various ways and worn frequently. By prioritizing versatility when shopping for clothes, you can create a more functional and efficient wardrobe. A versatile wardrobe gives you more flexibility, reduces decision fatigue, and helps you get more value out of your fashion investments. 7. Focusing too much on discounts Focusing too much on discounts is a common mistake that can lead to buying clothes you don't need or won't wear. While sales and discounts are tempting, they can cloud your judgment and cause you to make purchases based on price rather than quality, fit, or practicality. As a result, you may end up with a closet full of discounted items that don't suit your style or lifestyle, leading to wasted money and wardrobe clutter. The excitement of scoring a bargain often overrides the need for thoughtful shopping. Retailers use sales tactics like limited time offers, buy one, get one deals, and big markdowns to create a sense of urgency, encouraging impulse buys. However, just because something is on sale, doesn't mean it's a good buy for you. Focusing too much on discounts can distract you from evaluating the item's long-term value or whether it fits your wardrobe needs. A common trap of discount shopping is buying clothes simply because they're cheap, not because you actually need them. While discounts can help you save money, they may also lead to sacrificing quality. Discounted items are often end-of-season or leftover stock that might not have the same longevity as higher-quality pieces. Cheap fabrics, poor construction, or trendy items can end up being poor investments, wearing out quickly, or going out of style. Ironically, focusing too much on discounts can lead to overspending. When you're drawn to sales, you might buy more than you need, thinking you're saving money. However, if those items aren't worn, the savings are negated. Before heading into a sale, have a clear idea of what you're looking for. 
Create a list of wardrobe essentials or items you need and stick to it. Invest in quality items, even if they cost more upfront, as they'll last longer and give you more value in the long run. While it's great to take advantage of sales, don't make discount shopping your only approach to buying clothes. Build a wardrobe with a balance of investment pieces and discounted finds, ensuring you prioritize long-lasting quality and style over price alone. Discounts should enhance your wardrobe, not dictate your purchases. Remember, the best purchases are those that combine both a good price and practicality. 8. Not trying on clothes. One of the most common mistakes shoppers make is not trying on clothes before purchasing them. Whether it's due to impatience, confidence in knowing your size, or the convenience of online shopping, skipping the try-on process can lead to disappointing results. Clothing sizes and fits vary widely between brands, and even within different collections from the same brand. Factors like fabric stretch, cut, and how the garment sits on your unique body shape all influence how an item will look and feel. If you buy clothes without trying them on and later discover they don't fit, you'll need to go through the hassle of returning or exchanging them. This can be time-consuming and inconvenient, especially with online purchases where shipping costs and waiting times may apply. If you don't try on clothes and they end up not fitting, there's a risk that you won't return them in time or at all, leaving you stuck with items you can't wear. When in doubt, take multiple sizes of the same item into the fitting room. Sometimes, going one size up or down makes all the difference in how a piece fits and looks. If an item almost fits, but isn't quite right, consider if it can be easily tailored. Simple alterations, like hemming pants or adjusting a waistline, can turn a near miss into a perfectly fitted piece. By taking the time to try on clothes before buying, you can avoid the disappointment of ill-fitting garments and save yourself the trouble of returns. 9. Ignoring Return Policies Ignoring return policies when buying clothes is a common mistake that can lead to frustration and wasted money. While it's easy to get caught up in the excitement of shopping, especially during sales or when buying online, neglecting to check the return policy can leave you stuck with items that don't fit, aren't flattering, or don't match your wardrobe. Return policies determine whether and how you can return or exchange items that don't meet your expectations. Some stores offer flexible return windows, free returns, and easy exchanges, while others may have strict rules, restocking fees, or only offer store credit. Be extra cautious when purchasing items marked as final sale or non-refundable. These items usually can't be returned or exchanged, so make sure you're certain about the purchase before committing. Hold on to your receipts and leave tags on until you're sure you want to keep the item. Most stores require a receipt and that the item is unworn and in its original condition for a return. For online shopping, find out if the store offers free return shipping or if you'll need to cover the cost yourself. Some stores provide prepaid return labels, while others may deduct shipping fees from your refund. Be aware of the time frame within which you can return or exchange the item. Set a reminder to ensure you don't miss the return deadline, especially if you're shopping during busy sales periods or holidays. Some stores may have specific conditions for returning certain items, like formal wear, swimwear, or clearance items. Always read the fine print to avoid surprises. By paying attention to return policies before making a purchase, you can shop more confidently and avoid the frustration of being stuck with clothes you can't return. 10. Following trends blindly Following trends blindly is a mistake that can lead to a wardrobe full of clothes that quickly go out of style or don't suit your personal taste or body type. While fashion trends can be fun and inspiring, they're often fleeting and focusing too much on what's in at the moment can result in impulse purchases that don't reflect your true style or work for your lifestyle. Fashion trends change rapidly, often every season, and what's trendy today can easily look outdated tomorrow. When you prioritize trends over personal preference or practicality, 
you may end up with clothes that you don't truly like or feel comfortable wearing. Trends also don't always flatter every body type or fit into every lifestyle, meaning that blindly following them can lead to regret, wasted money, and a lack of confidence in your style. Fashion trends often come with a price, especially if you're chasing the latest styles every season. Buying trendy pieces without considering their longevity or versatility can lead to wasted money on clothes that don't get much use after the trend fades. Develop your own sense of style that reflects your preferences, personality, and lifestyle. While it's okay to incorporate trends, make sure they align with your overall look rather than letting trends dictate your style choices. Not every trend is for everyone. Before jumping on a fashion trend, Ask yourself if it fits your body type, works with your existing wardrobe, and suits your daily life. If it doesn't, it's okay to pass on the trend and stick with what works for you. Build your wardrobe around classic, timeless pieces that never go out of style. Items like a tailored blazer, a little black dress, and quality denim provide a solid foundation that you can pair with trendier accessories or seasonal updates. If you do want to try a trend, choose pieces that can be styled in multiple ways and worn across different seasons. This way, you're not limiting the lifespan of the garment to just one fashion cycle. If you're excited about a trend, try incorporating it through accessories or smaller pieces like shoes, scarves, or jewelry. This allows you to experiment with trends without overhauling your entire wardrobe or making a huge investment. To sum up avoiding common mistakes when buying clothes can help you build a wardrobe that truly reflects your style, fits well, and serves your lifestyle. So ladies, apart from these, what other common mistakes can be avoided when buying clothes? We'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Thank you for tuning in, and if you enjoyed this content, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe for more discussions.